good morning from the Disney Springs bus board. As you guys know, we have completed all of our tours of the Disney resorts, but there are still a couple that are under construction right now. One of those being Caribbean Beach Resort. A lot of stuff going on over there, and it's been kind of a while since we've been, so I'm excited to go back and check it out again today. Also, wearing my shirt, King of the Bus. I hope I do get King of the Bus, but I did bring an umbrella because it's gonna rain. I just hope we make it to Caribbean Beach before the rain starts. Oh, that's a beautiful sight right there. That's a King of the Bus site. It, uh, it just started pouring as we're pulling into Disney's Caribbean Beach. Oh jeez, it's gonna be a wet day. You do get a pretty good view of the front of the Riviera on the way around. So as always, we are starting off over by Martinique and we got dropped off at the bus stop, which is right behind us right there. We are in the parking lot walking over towards the pool by Martinique, which will be put us closest to the Riviera. Definitely a lot of scrim and fence work up around the parking lot here. Also, it's raining, so I got my umbrella out. You guys can hear the thunder. You might be able to see some of the rain too, or hear it for sure. You hear it on the, the roof of the umbrella. So a few things that I'm excited to see at this resort is one, the Riviera, obviously, and two, all of the Skyliner stations, because the Skyliner does run right through this resort, and there's a station over by, uh, I think it's the Jamaica section. I don't really remember. We'll see it today, but I'm excited to see how far along it is. It's a lazy, rainy Thursday here. Nobody in the pool. There's some people hanging out by the pool, but nobody actually in it. How much fun is this? They got balloons in their window. A little happy birthday Stitch doll. There are Minnie and there are two up in the window. Well, that was interesting. We literally walked around the corner here. Listen to this. Like we're over here and all that I hear are the air conditioners of the rooms. Nothing going on. We're over by the pool by Martinique. And then if we come around this corner, you guys hear the difference in sound where you can hear all the construction noise from the Riviera over here? That was an interesting change in noise level. Oh yeah, we got a real bad storm coming over. But you can see on the horizon there, some of the, what do they call them, like towers? Skyliner towers? And then if we turn a little bit to our right, there it is. The Disney Riviera Resort. There it goes again. The last time we were here, we noticed that there was always helicopters flying over top of this resort. Nothing's changed. So the Buick Riviera, or no, sorry, the Disney's Riviera Resort is over here. Hmm. I mean, not like excessively further along than it was the last time that we were here, but it is a lot larger than I thought it was gonna be. That is one gigantic resort. Wonder what's gonna be up on that top floor where they've got those curved pieces of framing. I know there's not gonna be windows there, but is that gonna be like a big restaurant or something? We are still sort of over here by Martinique. I like how it says that the custom house is still there. It's definitely not. This is an old map, but you can kind of see there's this large area of foliage, and that is this area here. Wow, look at that storm rolling in. It's gonna get real rainy real quick. I came as far over as we can within Martinique to get a better look at the Riviera. A lot of interesting details around the top of it. Like all of this stuff over here. What in the world is going on on top of that building? I feel like maybe they're digging out the pool right now? Maybe. People have asked me when I think the Skyliner is gonna be open. And because there is a stop here at the Riviera, I don't think it's gonna be open anytime soon. Unless they open it up in phases. Which is very strange that they would put up these towers right now. So maybe they are gonna open it up in phases. I also like how tall it gets very quickly. We have literally been here for maybe like 10 minutes and this is the third helicopter I've seen go over top of this resort. Where are you going helicopter? You're flying into a storm. Before we head around to Centertown, did they repaint this lighthouse here? And what does it say? Boatyard? Something, something boatyard? No, I don't think we can get to that because it is behind construction walls and part of this whole center town area over here. There's a little interesting thing that just happened. I don't know if it comes out on camera, but there's some white smoke back there on the other side. And I think that's from fireworks from Disney's Hollywood Studios for their Star Wars show, I think. But it does certainly look like it's part of the storm. And then we're getting ready to turn for another look at the Riviera. This is a very, very large resort. Still lots and lots of construction going on back here. Holy cow. There was a construction worker on the other side of the fence when I started talking and he's like, <gasps> that's scared. Sorry, Mr. Construction Worker. I was just pointing out that construction was happening. I think we're gonna stop in at the uh, little food area there at Centertown, kind of wait out the storm a little bit, get something to eat. It seems like in preparation for the storm, they have closed down their merchandise truck. Here we go, we're heading into Centertown and we're gonna stop off at this little tent here and get something to eat. 
and then take it inside. So I ordered out there, and then I came into this tent here, and now we're inside of the tent. It's a very uh, Caribbean feeling tent. And then we're sitting at this table and we put our number on the table and they're gonna bring us our food. I got a bacon cheeseburger. There's also a buffet that's available in here. And what we'll do is we'll put a link up in the corner here to the last video that we did of a full walkthrough of this where I show off some of the food at the buffet. There's my bacon cheeseburger. It doesn't look too bad. And all of the fixins are on the side. Then I got a mojito fruit salad as my side and it looks interesting. I don't know what all these like little flecks and stuff on there are. As it turns out, I believe all of the little flecks are like mint. This fruit salad has a very interesting flavor to it. I took the top bun off and I was really excited for how much bacon we were getting because of this over here that was sticking out of the bun. And then I took the bun off and they're like, you don't really get that much bacon. Not the best burger that I've ever had. It's not bad. You know what I want? I want this patty on the burger that I had at Rick's over at Coronado Springs. I think that would be delicious. This patty is probably cooked exactly the same way, but they kind of like freshened it up on the flat top to give it like kind of a grilled feeling. Whereas the other one just was, felt like it was boiled. After looking at it a little bit more in depth, I don't think that this is a buffet anymore. I think this is just the expo station for the kitchen. So whatever you order, is mainly cooked back there in large quantities and then brought out here and they just like build your hamburger out here. I wanted to show you guys the menu. This is the lunch menu. And what I got was that bacon Angus cheeseburger. Pretty good. And the mojito fruit salad. We're gonna try to continue to make our way around the resort. It is raining, but we got our umbrella. And of course, because it is thundering and lightning, the pool is closed right now. It's starting to clear up though, but I think it's gonna rain again, as you can see over there. We can kind of see over there into center town it looks nice over there. They're starting to paint it. The roofs are done. Looks like this building is almost completely complete. Completely complete. I feel like we should find out how many helicopters pass over top of this place while we're here. I think that's number four. I don't know what this building is going to be, but I really like the colorful pallet wood that they've got around these little windows in here. It kind of looks like it's a restaurant or something. Maybe that's where the drink station will be. Not much to see over here from this direction. I'm sure once we head across the waterway, we'll be able to see more. They're still working over there at the Riviera, even though it's it's raining. It's not pouring, but it is raining. That is a neat looking station for the Skyliner. Sorry, it's really hard for me to hold the camera still when it's raining because I got the umbrella in my hand and the wind is moving it around. I'll say this a hundred times more, but the Riviera is so big. Do you guys like the sound of the rain? Is it calming? Yeah, I don't know if you, you guys are probably just hearing mostly the rain on top of the umbrella, but the rain on the water sounds amazing because the drops are just kind of big right now. And I'm sure you guys can see that in the waterway. There's large drops of rain. It's kind of a cool looking resort in the rain. Also, look at that Skyliner Tower, it's huge. Ah, the beauty of a well-themed Disney resort. Nothing they could do, what the? Look at this thing. It's so massive and it's just kind of here. Just right in the middle of the resort, just plopped in the grass there. Just looking across the waterway at Centertown, I absolutely 100% am all in on the color scheme and the design of this. I love it. It is beautiful. I can't wait till this resort is done. I would want to stay here just to like hang out over here. Like at night, ooh, nighttime with whatever lighting they do around here on a cool like uh, fall night or autumn night, relaxing, looking out over the water. Hopefully they'll be done with the Riviera by then and it won't be loud. Ooh, man, I'm like daydreaming about this resort now. There's another Skyliner Tower over here, and this, all of this footer work down here is very interesting. I wonder what they're doing. Are they building like a wall around it? Or what are they doing? Because the other one definitely didn't have a wall around it. Or is this part of the base, like the underground base that spreads out underground to kind of hold this thing in place, maybe during a hurricane or something? Ah, Florida, beautiful blue skies. Skyliner Towers, sun is shining, and there's the storm over there. And there it is, as close to the Riviera as we can get on this side. And this is gonna be Disney's newest DVC resort or Disney Vacation Club resort. All right, let's go see if we can see one of the other Skyliner stations. All we gotta do is follow those towers. There is one kind of back here behind this fence, but it's behind a fence, so I can't really see it. But we should be able to go over here and see the transfer station where you can choose between going to Disney's Hollywood Studios or Epcot. One last look across the lake at Centertown. It's gonna be very nice. It's kind of an interesting Disney resort pool phenomenon. 
So there are a bunch of like littler side pools that don't have lifeguards on duty. And then there's one main pool that has lifeguards on duty. And the main pool is still closed because the thunder was less than 30 minutes ago. But the side pools, nobody's there to tell you not to go in. So people are already swimming again. I'm very interested to find out how this thing's going to run. Like what the logistics of this are gonna be. What are they gonna do in a storm? What are they gonna do when it's real windy out? I can't wait to find out more. I came up to the spot underneath it here and I like this. It's like, don't climb this. Just don't do it. There it is. It's not that tall. I feel like that's maybe uh, 80 feet in the air. No, can't be. What are these? These are two stories. So that's 20 feet. And this, yeah, maybe 80, 60 to 80 feet. So the burger that we just ate was over there at Center Town, which is like a little tent eating area. But the last time that we came here and did an update, we ate at Spyglass Grill. Highly recommend that place instead of Center Town. I know it's probably a little bit more of a walk, but Spyglass Grill is delicious. Check it out. This golf cart has fireworks all over the hood. That's fun. Not anything important, but I just noticed this. What happened? What happened that they had to replace a huge chunk of concrete? And why is this falling down? Maybe some big piece of construction equipment hit it. I don't even know if you guys can see that. We're gonna get closer, but just coming over top of the hill, looking at that station, it is gigantic. Holy macaroni. We're over here by Trinidad South at Caribbean Beach. This is the transfer station where you would either pick to go to Epcot or to Hollywood Studios on the Skyliner. You guys can't see it right now, but this is, it's shaped like a T. So there is a, a piece of building that goes that way and a track that goes that way. And there's one that goes this way, which you guys can see. And there's one that goes this way, which we saw heading over through the Caribbean Beach Resort. So I'm wondering, maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're just gonna like bypass the Riviera at first and just come right here. Cause I think Pop Century and everything is further that way. I'm not 100% sure though, cause I'm kind of kind of lost my bearings a little bit. You can kind of see one of the towers on the other side of the station there. And that is headed to, I'm gonna say Hollywood Studios. I'm gonna look at a map really quick and see what's around here. So there you go. I was completely turned around. Pop Century and Art of Animation are over there. So that's where this one goes. This is the turn area where you pick to either go to Hollywood Studios or to Epcot and Riviera is along the way to Epcot so I'm wondering if they're just going to bypass Riviera and just go straight to Epcot or maybe they're just going to open it up between Hollywood Studios and Pop at first I don't know because this seems like they've gotten very far along on this stuff like they've got the towers up they've got this station started you got all the wheels and everything in you can see you can see all of the different mechanics in there for the Skyliner all the wheels and stuff that the gondolas move on. It's gonna be interesting. I really can't wait to ride it. There you go. In my opinion, I think that after it rains, but before it rains a second time, it is the hottest in Florida because it is very humid and it's, it's see, it's not that bad. It's an 81 degrees outside in the shade, but it's just hot because it feels thick. And I feel like some of this isn't sweat. Some of this might be condensation coming off my forehead. Oh, by the way, here is the Spyglass Grill. And it is delicious. At least the tacos that I had the last time that I was here were delicious. Oh look, there's turtles down in the sand. The elusive concrete turtle. Never seen one in the wild before, let alone four. Ooh, this storm looks like it might be worse than the first one. Also, there's another helicopter. But still, Trinidad South is the quietest section of the resort. Even though we are sort of close to the Skyliner construction over here, it's not bad. Wow, look, you can see Spaceship Earth through the trees. That is impressive. I don't know, can you guys see Spaceship Earth there? Kind of looks like clouds on the screen to me, so I don't know what you guys can see. We just recently did an update on Coronado Springs, and this is our most recent update of Caribbean Beach. The two moderates that are under construction right now are under uh, refurbishment. There is construction going on on the property. I think this one feels like it's further along or has less construction noise than Coronado Springs did. Even though Center Town is under construction, they're still building a very large resort off, pro like off to the side of this one. Same sort of thing is happening over at Coronado. They're doing some construction right in the center of the lake and they're building another tower for Coronado. It just felt louder at Coronado Springs than it does here. I also feel like this is a very large resort so you could possibly get away from the construction noise like we have here in Trinidad South. So I would take my chances at this resort more than I would take my chances at Coronado. I'm thinking with this storm going on behind us, 
it might be time to head back to the bus and head back to Disney Springs. I don't know if this will come across on the camera, but you can see it's raining right there. Do you guys see like that kind of haze over there? That's rain. That is one thing that I've always liked about Florida is how flat it is here. You see the rain coming because there's no like hills or mountains in the way. And I think that that's something that a lot of people don't realize when they're coming to Florida. There's nothing. It's just flat everywhere across the entire state. That's why we've got so much water everywhere because uh, the ground is so flat. There's nowhere for it to flow away from. It just pools all over the place. Also a fun thing to do if you're ever at Caribbean Beach Resort is go underneath this bridge. Because when you come underneath this bridge, you get to meet this guy. Isn't, oh, he is Thor, the God of Thunder apparently. Or is Thor the God of Lightning or the God of Thunder? Eh, I'll name you Thor. But this is, it's so lovely. Like it's nice to see a smiling face when you come down here. Did he just, did, did he just turn around? Is your friend, Okay, he's still at the other end of the bridge. Frightening, I know. I'll be really scared if this guy turns around. <laughs> he turned around too. With the amount of thunder that's happening behind me, I'd say I probably have about 10 minutes to get to the bus before it starts pouring on us. That was really weird. Donald and Daisy were just driving through the parking lot in a, a golf cart. I don't know why. I didn't have the camera out to show you guys, but they were. So there you have it. That has been a quick update on Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Not as bad as Coronado, like it's not as loud here. I feel like it's further along here. I would stay at Caribbean Beach before I stay at Coronado. So I don't know, what do you guys think? So with that being said, we are off. We will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.